tornado sirens, as I said. That doesn't mean there's a tornado by Oh, dude, my truck is getting hammered right now. Hammered with hail. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. That's golf ball. That is golf ball. I got to go check on the chickens. That's huge. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, my garden is F. My garden is F. My truck is F, dude. Like, I don't want to get hit. I need a helmet. Oh my god, dude. That. Look at that. That is a golf ball. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's slowing down. I gotta go get a helmet and I gotta go check on the chickens, though. That could, like, fuck up a chicken pretty bad. That could really hurt them. Oh my god. tank haul let me hit this light that's where my um, that's where my vents come out of my fish room if you're wondering but uh, here's the tank haul um, basically I got 130 long paid 20 bucks for that I got the 20 for free and then I got four 29 longs uh, I paid $15 each for those so 50 cents a gallon a little bit more for that and that's my fault. I thought it was a 40, so I, I said it was a 40, so I had to give him 50 cents a gallon. And he gave me that for free because I got enough. Um, that and I had to repost his, uh, his sale on Facebook for him, but I didn't have a problem doing that. But uh, yeah, these are the tanks, and basically um, we have tornadoes on the way, so I've got to make sure nothing is going to break these tanks. Um, I may carry them inside, to be honest, but yeah. We'll see. Wish me luck, please. So over oh. here, I have got some red onions. That right there is actually a beet from last season that is coming back. Um, and then these are all potatoes. So those are four different kinds of potatoes. I have goldens, reds, russets, and then right here are actually a purple potato. Put those in about a week ago. So they're doing nice. They're obviously thriving and living. Um, just have, you know, a tomato plant here. That'll be a very tall, very long, um, yellow, um, cherry tomato. Very prolific. That, that creates a lot of tomatoes. Um, just some other tomatoes, starter cultures. Um, that's some Swiss chard coming back. Kale that stayed alive somehow. Uh, this is the strawberry garden. So I had three in, I added two. And I actually have strawberries. One second, I've got to turn. I can hear my hoses on. I got to bring that inside too. And I almost tripped. I've got to turn this guy off. And I do filter all my water that I water my garden with. Just a cheap $40 filter, but it helps. Uh, it, it helps immensely when you have chlorine that you water your garden with. But um, uh, these are also strawberries. As you can tell, I've got a few starting to come in. So I will have some nice fresh organic strawberries, um, fruit trees eventually those will grow for me, hopefully, I hopefully nothing bad happens to that. What's up girls, what are you doing, huh? Bark, 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 chicken, chicken, bark, 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 chicken, chicken, bark, bark, bark. You guys ready for the tornado, huh? Hopefully it won't get too hard. Um, but yeah, so... I had a bunch of plants right here and basically what I did was I moved all of those plants so that I could have outdoor ponds right here. Um, I'm going to be setting that guy up right here. I'm probably going to set up some other stuff out here as well. And that porch gets hit with a lot of sun. The goldfish that are in there are going to move. I'm going to be cleaning out probably that tote and putting it right there because that should be pretty shaded. It should be fairly easy to shade that. I'll just build a canopy over those. 
and I'm probably going to build a canopy over like that entire area for the summer because we get very sunny here and uh, that stuff will just cook in the sun if I don't keep it shaded basically the whole entire day. So I'm going to be creating like a canopy over all this for the summer. But uh, these are just some, I believe that's like a navel orange and that's like a lemon or a lime. Um, over here we've got some, some pepper plants, just a couple different kinds. Um, I'm not done with my gardening stuff yet. I've got more stuff to do. I'm going to be putting like some, some tomato plants over here that are going to grow. I'm going to utilize all that, that mesh right there on their cage. Um, and basically grow tomatoes up it. Um, uh, so that uh, I can utilize more it'll feed them and I happen to know of a tomato that just grows ridiculously fast uh, It's the yellow um, Grape tomato that grows and has w basically way too much fruit to even eat um, And these guys over here. I've just got some um, I got an orange like a red and a yellow uh, Bell pepper and then I've also got a bunch of white onions and garlic in here So everything that's open space has onions and garlic in it um, so there'll be basically as much onion and garlic in that one as there is over here uh, once they all decide to shoot up. Now these are only a few weeks old. Now this, this onion grass isn't very strong. You can see it just breaks, but that really shouldn't matter. It should get stronger and thicker continuously over the season. And it'll take, uh, I think like two months, but after two months there should be some pretty big onion bulbs underneath there. But, um... Just so you guys know, so I can share it with you. If you want, like, this is the yellow cherry tomato. This is probably the highest producing cherry tomato. You can see there's, like, one little vine of it. And you see how many cherry tomatoes are on that? That is not an exaggeration. The yellow cherry tomato is the highest fruiting tomato that we have um, at our disposal as a gardener. So if you want a tomato that produces a lot of fruit, that is definitely the way to go grab this guy kick that guy over otherwise she's just gonna blow over hopefully these guys do well the goldfish um boom that was a strike all right so it's uh it's hailing golf balls right now at my house um supposed to get a tornado and our tornado sirens already went off, so probably close. I don't know if I have a helmet, so I'm going to check on the chickens. Um, I'm just going to bring you guys with me in case anything happens. For fun. But this could really, really hurt. Um, the hail's big. But you're going in my pocket, so uh, yeah. 